Hello, fellow. Get in the painting. Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back to Super Mario 64. Kevin J2010 here. Blast to the Lonely Mushroom. Final level in Lonely Lonely Island in Tall Tall Mountain. There is the Lonely Star out there. This is actually a very hard mission to do because I've never actually done it the correct way. I recently figured out how to do it the right way, but never actually done it the hard way. Um, yeah. So. The way you do this mission, I gotta find a way down there. Now, how do I get down there? What the hell? How do I get down there? I see where I gotta go, I just don't know how to get there. Or, I know what I can do. I can probably long jump to this. My computer just went into sleep, sort of. And I can probably long jump down here. Oh, okay, that works. What if I, what does the sign say? Danger, strong gusts, but the wind makes a comfy ride. There's a cannon down here, but I haven't seen the red bomb bomb for this. Where is the red bomb bomb? Huh, that's a problem. Huh. Anyway, um, in the last episode, I ranted for like the whole episode, just talking about let's playing and all that. And you know what? Oh, I thought that's where the gust was. Anyway, so you know what? The whole rant thing that I did last episode. Thank you if you listened through the whole thing, and I know I said that last episode. But you know what? It actually has put me into a good mood to record right now. I actually do feel a little bit more, I don't know, open with you guys now that I've done it all. And now I'm going to rant about how I ranted. Anyway, where is the red bob -omb? I really don't know where it is in this place. Or, I have an odd feeling. Why is this here? Anyway. Um... Huh, I really don't know where the red bob -omb is in this place. Does that mean I have to do it the old school way? The old school, like, jump to the top of the mountain and try jumping out and landing on the lonely mushroom? Because that's how I usually do it. Um, <laughs> it's kind of the wrong way to do it, let me tell you. But, eh, if you have to find a way to do it, that's how I'll do it. This Let's Play isn't wasn't meant to be all in-depth like Twilight Princess was, but, eh. Whatever. Take what you can get. Well, get the star however you can, I guess. Uh, jump. I think it's up here. It's gotta be up around here. I just have an odd feeling it's around here. Come on. Why do I have it? And I'm recording this right after I did the whole rant. So, I'm just gonna try seeing the future right now. How many people are overly gonna like that video and just be like, Oh, Kevin, you did such a... You told... You showed them who's boss or whatever or something like that and I'm gonna get all this praise for it or something. I'm not trying to be arrogant by thinking that I'm gonna get praise. It's just like, it seems like every time someone makes a rant video, it... it people have to talk about it. And how much do you want to bet that everyone's gonna talk about my rant video now that I guess I now have? Which I, I didn't do it to like, oh, I want to rant. I just did it because, you know, I was just talking and then it turned into a rant. Sometimes I just love ranting. As you can tell, that's why I'm a Let's Player. Anyway, gotta start talking about the game more. Where is that red bob -omb? I really don't know where it is and it's kind of concerning me that I don't know where it is. Yet I'm the Let's Player here. Um... <laughs> I know it's 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 obviously got to be somewhere up the mountain because I mean how have I not found it yet though? If you didn't notice in the last episode during my ranting, you can actually go into the wall here. There you go, and that's where one of the stars was. So, in case you missed it or something, uh, where is the lonely android? I mean mushroom. I mean island. I mean mushroom. Um, <laughs> I'm just making too many references now, and that last one was pretty bad with the android because I actually know Yoshi tomorrow. Um, I guess I should rant about name dropping now too, shouldn't I? Um, let's see where it is. Uh, there it is, right over there. I can probably long jump to it, like, I mean, from right here. Oh, oh yeah, I did it! Yeah! Um, feel free to post a video response to where the red bob is, or at least tell me in a comment, because I'm, I am way way hey, too lazy to go check for myself. Anyway, so let's get the 100 coins here out of the way and then we'll move on to the next world. Uh, one thing before you get going, if you don't kill yourself, 
If you look right here, I think... If you stand in just the right spot... On the beginning here, you can actually get... To where the... If you, rem if you remembered when I did the mission... Where you had to go into the mountainside and everything... You can actually see somewhere on the side here... Where the star is, and you can actually get it without going through the whole slide. But yeah, I'm gonna just try to get it the normal way. Um, one thing to be aware of, again, before I go off in 100 coin mode, um, be aware that if you need to, you need to obviously go to uh, the slide. Just be aware that once you go in there, you can't get back out, and you can't get back up here. So just be aware of that, it is a little important. Anyway, montage. No, 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 because you can't work your way back up, can you? No, you can't. No, 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 no. Got it. Oh my god. Huh. I had to get that. Uh, no kidding. Twice. Had to get that twice. Ah. Uh. And now I've re reacquainted my hatred for this level. Because I really, really, really don't like that. Ugh. It's probably easier I just finish the level anyway, so. There we go. 96 stars. I've been recording for over an hour, but I've recorded three episodes. But anyway. Let's have continue. Okay. And finally. We're gonna get the first star done in the first world, or in the last world of the second floor. This is Tiny Huge Island. You can go to that one, or you can go to this one. Oh, it's right here. Okay, let's just go into this one. It's the short one. Um, the, the gimmick of this world is you can go in either the, the big painting or the little painting. You can't go into the one that's immediately in front of you. If you go into the big one, you get a gigantic version of where we are right now. And if you choose the small one, you get, uh, you know, a smaller version of this. So that is how this level works. 
He says there's a piranha there. Let's just say that's not the right piranha. Long story short, that is the wrong piranha. But if you jump into these pipes, you can switch between the two worlds. So now, we are in Gigantoland. Oh dear god, I'm on fire. You can hit them. If you hit them, you get two coins. You know, actually, I just realized, I don't think I ever actually use them when I when I do the 100 coins here. I don't think I ever actually used the piranha plants. And that's a decent amount of coins, too. There's a few more. We have to just take out the four of them. I think. There we go. Is that the last one? No, there's one more over here. That yeah. Okay. That's ten coins right there. That's not that bad. I should use that more. And there we go. That is pluck the piranha plant. Very easy. But we got the first star done. In tiny huge island, I believe it's called. Is that what it's called? I hope that's what it's called. Pluck the Piranha Flower is done with 10 coins. Not bad. Anyway, Tiny Huge Island, yep. So anyway, next time on Super Mario 64, we will be taking on the rest of Tiny Huge Island. Hopefully getting at least close to getting it done. I don't think we'll get it done in another video. And then we'll be moving on to the last two worlds in the game. And I'll see you guys all next time.